Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I in order to use a sentence so let's analyze this sentence together there so first we should uh, specify each item individually So we have here an article, the determiner article, we have a noun, we have the verb, we have another determiner, and we have a noun. Now let's divide this sentence into principal constituents. So sentence is constituted of a noun phrase and a verb phrase and of course we should mention the ogs tense the tense we have here in this sentence is the past concerning the verb phrase uh, we have a verb and a noun phrase here. So this is our whole sentence. Our sentence consists of a noun phrase and a verb phrase and of course an ox. This verb phrase consists of another noun phrase a verb and a noun phrase of course and we have here two noun phrases the first noun phrase which is the subject of our verb and our second noun phrase which is the subject complement but here in phrase structure grammar we don't mention functions we only mention forms okay so let's move to the second step now the second step is phrase structure rules phrase structure rules so we write our sentence consists of we mention three element noun phrase an ox and a verb phrase we all know that in a sentence the head is the verb and since the verb phrase contains this head we will start by the verb phrase so our verb phrase consists of in our verb phrase we have a verb and a noun phrase so we have our head the verb and noun phrase we are going to mention the ogs, our ogs consist of a tense and this tense consists of the past tense. We, uh, we notice here that we have two noun phrases, okay, so let's talk about noun phrase Noun phrase consists of, as we have two noun phrases, and both of them uh, consist of a determiner and a noun, also here a determiner and a noun. So we'll mention in our noun phrase the determiner and the noun. 
Then we mention the nature of our verb. So our verb is mice transitive mice transitive verb. This is important things to do in this second step phrase structure rule. Now let's move to the third step. The third step is lexical insertion rule lexical insertion rule in which we are going to mention the nature of each of those lexical words the verb the determiner the noun and so on it is like mentioning our part of speech uh, which we have in this sentence so in this sentence we have as nouns two common nouns which are woman and doctor. Our verb is the verb to be and our determiners are the two articles the and a this is all we have in this sentence so this is the steps or these are the steps we should follow when uh, analyzing certain sentence